Good morning, fellow absent traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, May 19th, 2014. RK. Okay. Uh, from an announcement perspective, nothing going on today, and Tuesday looks pretty wide open, too. So, from that perspective, scheduled announcements, we shouldn't have any market surprises based on that. Let's take a look at the futures. We're going to have some, this is going to be a fun day, let me tell you. Um, let's take a look at the futures over in Asia. Um, maybe weighted a little bit more towards the bearish side. Slightly bullish on a couple of indexes. And over in Europe, we are red across the board. All right, I haven't uh, looked at the news this morning. I was looking at a few other things uh, that I wanted to tell you about. So um, I wanted to show you this, too. I think that um, whether or not you think that these are marketing videos for his website or not is up to you. But if you want to learn about how money works and how and the difference between money and currency and how gold and silver play into the whole scene here I think you should watch this and I will include this playlist in uh, my post for today so you can take a look at it these videos they're they're kind of long but they're really good the guy's good at teaching and I, I do believe that what he says is pretty much true not sure about his predictions or anybody's predictions especially my predictions but um, it's an interesting thing to watch and you can learn about how money works and how um, it's really the small guy well we're just we're just like worker bees I guess you could say or ants serving the queen and that's pretty much the way that it is and all you can do is just try to carve out a little piece for yourself alright uh, let's take a look at the futures here in the US so when I opened this up this morning and I saw this I um, said okay well, how am I with Delta today well I've only got a couple of positions right now these are 20 delta positions, all of them, and we are negative delta on Costco and CVX, which should react to this nicely, and then TLT, which is counter to this, so uh, we have positive delta on TLT, and that's a good thing, so uh, I think we're doing okay on that. Uh, gold is up slightly this morning. I'm trying to get back above that 1301 and trying to uh, give me an opportunity to get in with uh, selling a call against my GLD position here and then there's oil at 102 which is pretty steep okay um, it's Monday so let's take a look at how we did last week okay uh, we had a profit of $1,908 last week, not including commissions. And here's the um, number for a year to date for 2014. We're at, <laughs> it's funny, we're at $5,000 profit even. And we are in the fifth month. So we're averaging about $1,000 a month right now, even with uh, February which as you if you're a regular watcher you know February was not a pretty month but with commissions were and I, this is a calculated on a percentage basis we're up about forty seven hundred dollars <throat> okay so last week uh, we had a loser in CVX EOG and this Russell bull put that we had on but we had winners on NDX, and this was a 20 delta. Anything that says, like this says NDX, where I did four positions with a May 4 expiration. Anything that doesn't say May without any numbers after it is a 50 delta, and anything with a May 4 or further 
out with, uh, would be a 20 delta. So this is a 20 delta and we're only in for the day, basically. Um, this is a Russell trade where it took the other side. This was a 20 delta, in for two days on that. LinkedIn was three days. F5 Networks was two days. Apple was three days. Google was mm, a day, I guess you could say. 24 hours, uh, two days on Chipotle. Amazon was a day and Priceline was two days or the very next day. So it was 24 hours, let's call it that. So it was a very good week. And over here on the gold covered call side, we're still looking, this one expired. So now we're looking to see if we have another opportunity coming up on that. All right, that's enough of that for right now. Um, let's take a look at the A plus list. You know, when I see a move down like this, you know, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to find as far as entry possibilities. It's going to be an interesting scan because we are definitely going to open down today. And Tom Sosnoff is looking at 18. Now let's go back here. Tom Sosnoff is looking at 1800 level for the ES, which is the S&P futures. So he's saying that um, we should go down to 1800. That's where he's looking for it to move to. And if we were to look at 1800, it would be down here, which um, he says it should go to 1800 before it goes to 1900. We're, we will wait to see what happens. Sure doesn't look good here, though, does it? But, you know, it's just a temporary move. We'll see if it continues or not, if it has the power to sustain itself. And we just turn negative here over the last couple of days on the 50 MA. And that's the SMA, Simple Moving Average. The dotted line is the EMA, and we can zoom in just a tad here. See that uh, EMA also turned on the same date. So it's some consolidation in here where price is playing around with the moving average. Not, not significantly above it or below it. And we'll just wait to see what happens here. Okay. Let's switch over to here and jump there. Okay, now we're ready to go back and start our A-plus list scan. Starting out, first up the bat is Apple, leadoff hitter. Okay, let's take a look at the chart here. We had a hook up and we were in here. So we're just going to clear off all drawings and start over. Um, looks like it's going to probably gap down just a tad at the open this morning. So we're probably gonna, going to get a hook down and possibly another opportunity but it, um, it's not going to qualify because we have a break so we're just going to take a pass on that Amazon no live positions uh, a little bit of a bump up here nothing going there Boeing all right, this is a 20. We're looking for a 20 delta on this. We're probably not going to get it looking at the market today. So we'll probably have to wait a little while with that one. Baidu. See, the temptation is to talk a little bit about psychology here. Oh, I definitely am not a psychologist, but I've been trading for a long time. And how often, so many, many times when I have a good week, I... I read into things the next week because I want to make more money. So I get really greedy and I start seeing things that aren't really there on the charts. 
and that is the killer so we have to stick with our rules if we don't get any trades this week or very few trades that's just fine or if we say okay now we're not because we're in a pretty solid downtrend maybe we can bend some of our rules slightly and do 20 deltas because apparently I mean we're seeing a lot of red on a lot of these charts so if we can get a little bit of a hook up on some of these and then come back down we could start doing more 20 delta trades so that's the reason why I say and there is no hard and fast rules on 20 delta trades um, if you want to you know if we have a little green hook here we're in a downtrend if it bends back down again well I don't know why this is down here <laughs> then um, it's definitely is a candidate for 20 Delta so if you're in any sort of doubt at all uh, just watch the videos I mean you know I hate to make you watch these things all the time but if I was to go to this one and say all right this is a this is a hook for a 20 Delta right here so um, if we hook down then we would want to get in with a 20 Delta on Baidu so you know there's no really hard rule on 20 Delta trades I'm sorry I can't give you um, anything that is going to be a hard and fast rule and the same thing goes here for Celgene we could have I don't know why I missed this uh, or did I did I not this is a good 20 Delta candidate here and it's a 20 Delta on Celgene just because I don't trust it <laughs> I got burnt a couple times on Celgene so I did this 20 I think this is I actually did this trade and um, it was successful I could check but I'm pretty sure I did it so Celgene because it has burnt me a few times that's why I do a 20 Delta on that one it's ambiguous it's um I'm sorry I just can't give you hard and fast rules although I did get an email from somebody that says that uh, uh, TTM squeeze might be a good indicator for a 20 Delta and I'm going to be checking that out okay now same thing here with Chipotle we have a little bit of a move up on Friday and you know if it if it continues and bends down today this might be a 20 Delta as well but I'm not going to record any of these because these are really out there this Twilight Zone 20 Deltas okay uh, Costco we are in Costco right now with these are 20 Deltas May 5 and I have it on the chart and here it is so we have is this for next week's expiration we have earnings coming up here on the 29th so I'll have to be out of that before then let's go back here to auto CVX we are also in with a 20 Delta and here it is we got in here uh, CVX because um, we were getting no direction we did a 20 Delta it was just flat and it's actually against the trend that I did this 20 Delta uh, we have the EMA the 50 EMA has turned down uh, DIA I don't trade this but we can take a look at the Dow by using DIA and I'm sure we're going to be gapping down this morning so here we have a possibility of a 20 Delta but I'm just afraid that we're gonna have a change in trend 
Just a feeling that I have. This was uh, the loser, one of the losers from last week. Uh, we had a nice indication here. Comes up. We get in on this day. And the next day is fine and dandy. And then the following day, ouch. And we got out, I believe, on that day. We might have got out on Friday. I'm not sure. So we can get rid of all the drawings here. Clean up our charts in case there's anything way back there that we don't want to deal with. Is there anything going on today? Well, yeah, I mean, there's another opportunity here. This is a setup right here. So we record it as such. And we will see if this makes a move counter to the market today, at least the market as we're seeing it right now. Okay, FedEx is up next. We have a setup on FedEx, kind of a weak setup at this point, but a setup nonetheless. Uh, weak because we're only down to the 30. We'd like to get down to the 20. But I'm going to record it as a setup. Okay, uh, F5. And we had a entry here, and it was successful. So we can get rid of these drawings. And what are we looking at here next? We're looking for another move up here. Uh, we have a violation there. Um, oops, there's that, there's that finger on that right mouse button again. With a little bit of a twitch that I have in my right hand occasionally. Probably from mousing ever since mouse, mice were invented for computers. Uh, yeah, early adopter. I had a Mac when they first came out. Um, I'm not seeing anything here right now for F5 Networks. Gold. GLD. What's with this? Okay. Um, Nothing going there. Maybe we have, we might have a setup for a 20 delta here. So that's I want to move this. So I'm calling this a 20 delta for gold. And of course that would be a bull put spread. Google. Uh, right now we're looking for a move up here. We'll see if we get that today and tomorrow and maybe the next day. LinkedIn. And we did pretty good with LinkedIn. So now let's move this over here. And we'll delete this one. There. Okay, next one for LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been very, very nice to us this year. Uh, 3M. Ooh, we have a hook here. We actually have... This is a setup yet because we're still... Our uh, confirmation on the MACD did not happen, so that's still a setup. And it was our only setup from Friday. <laughs> and it didn't uh, come true. Alright, NDX. So far doing pretty good with NDX, our 20 delta we were in for just a couple of days. Two days, I think. Uh, let's delete all drawings here and start over with a fresh green. Um, pretty tempting to try a 20 delta on this because I know it's going to hook down. So I'm going to throw this in here. I'm not going to record it officially as a 20 delta, but we'll just keep an eye on it and see. 
just because we're in a downtrend. Um, we had a good day here on Friday. Uh, would like to see it come up here. I'm going to actually move it up here. We'll see what happens. I might go a little crazy and do a 20 delta on this. Just because it certainly proved out that from an overnight trade, basically, uh, this can work for you if you have a couple of uh, days that move in your direction. Netflix. Uh, all right. I don't see, i um, looking to see what might have been done. I didn't do anything with them last week. Did nothing with Netflix. Uh, it's not, it's being a little bit stubborn in its next leg down here. It's not too late. So, we're going to throw an alert on this. I forgot where the alert was. <laughs> Alright, at or below. Alright, price line, we're almost done. Uh, let's see, no, I'm not going to, okay. Um, I'm gonna delete all drawings here and start over. We would be looking for one, a move up here. But a little bit of a, there. So we'll wait for that one to mature a little bit. Russell, and we want to do another Russell trade here. I did pretty good with these so far. If you were to look at that spreadsheet, um, Again, and I'm thinking about putting it up on my blog site as a download for you folks if you have Excel or even just an Excel reader, uh, which is free, you would be able to take a look at it. Of course, I could throw it up there as a PDF too. Um, and everybody could take a look at it, but you wouldn't be able to see the actual trades. So let me, let me think about that. Um, let me know if you want it. Also, um, so this is 20 delta territory for me. Um, I'd be looking for something around there, and we'll make it yellow. So, you know, if even if I get a hook down here today, which we probably will, I might jump in on this with a 20 delta. I think it would be a pretty safe thing to do. Let's take a look here. I'll look out there on June 1 expiration. And a 20 delta would put us around, well, you know, right around 11.35 here. Which is right around there. That's the previous high so we're getting lower highs and lower lows which is a good sign of a downtrend this one's lower this is lower this is slightly lower and this one's lower this one's not this one's above the previous but still I mean it's pretty obvious which way the trend is on this so if we're talking 11.35 and the premium would be da -da 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 $1.15 if you do a couple of those with a $10 spread that's pretty close to 10 to 1 a little bit better than 10 to 1 which is uh, kind of what we shoot for at least 10 to 1 preferably 5 to 1 if you can do it and you might be able to do it if you were to move out to Let's see, 5 to 1 would be $2, right? I don't want to go too far out. Nah, it's going out too far. Um, you could go with this 19. And that's only $0.90. Cents. Nah, we don't want to do that either. If 
probably here with this expiration of June 1 would be good enough for me. Don't want to take too much risk and don't want to wait too long for theta to work for us. So that's a possibility. SPX, probably the same story. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of a hook here, maybe a 20 delta on this, but I don't know. But it does qualify, so we are going to throw it on the list. Of course, if it moves down today, which it looks like it's going to, then we're not going to be doing a 20, a, a bull put 20 delta, that's for sure. But I'm putting it down and I'm quite sure it's not going to work out. Let's see here. What am I doing? There we go. All right. TLT, we're in with multiple positions on that. This is what the risk profile looks like. Um, it's not exactly a huge money maker, but it is a money maker. So we cannot, this one expired. Um, so we cannot discount that. And we should get another move up. There it goes again. We should get another move up here. Tesla. Um, yeah, we are in... This is still an alert status. Or not alert status, uh, setup status. And we're going to open down. I already had some trades here. So we'll be opening down this morning, so that's going to go in the setup column. UNP, thinking of taking them off my list. <laughs> um, 20 Delta here, I think we got out early on that one, so we can delete all drawings. <clears throat> Very nice move here. This is 20 Delta. You do another 20 Delta on this. Union Pacific, does uh, Berkshire Hathaway own this? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm putting him down for a 20 Delta. And bottom of the order is Visa. We are looking for a move up here. Uh, kind of a weak, it looks like it was trying to break through here. We got the two moving averages moving together. We got MACD kind of flattening out here. Whew. Nothing going on this one at this time. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.